Hello, I'm Anastasia from Kit Consulting and today I'm going to run you through a very brief look of our construction solution that we have implemented for a few clients. Uh, this is a demo board, so we've got some dummy data in here. So we'll see over on the side here, this is our little navigation pane. So we've got our high level boards for our CRM, our low level boards for our CRM, and then we've got some task boards and their work dashboard at the bottom there. So this is how we've split it up. Our high level boards are, as they suggest, a little bit more of a high level overview of what's going on and when a little bit more of a management view. Our low level boards is where you'll find all of your nitty gritty details. So I'm going to run you through the high level boards first. So we've got our leads. Now, our leads could come in through a phone call, in which case we can just type them in just like a spreadsheet. Um, or we could have an inquiry form such as this one, which can be branded to look just like your brand colors, logos, that kind of thing. You can copy the link, you can email it to people, get a QR code for it, or the brilliant thing about it is you can embed it on your website. Uh, now that means that any changes that you make to the questions that you want to ask your clients uh, are automatically updated on the form on your website. And also your losing one of the middlemen uh, between, you know, you might have gravity forms or something like that on your website. You can lose that and just put the Monday form there. You've got a direct way into your database. All right. So quickly run you through your leads board. Your leads board, as I say, is for all of your new leads coming in. We've got a bunch of things to fill out. So you can have your project owner or task owner automatically assigned if you wish, if it's going to be the same person or team each time got a location for the job, what status it's at, what type of job it is, whether it is a tender, in which case it might be more of a commercial job or it might be a residential job. So we've got engagement there. What type of certification is going to be required? How did they hear about us? Now, here is the beauty. So I've got Miss Taylor Swift here um, and she's come in as a new lead, but now I'm in contact with her. So I'm going to flick her into the in contact stage and you will see, there we go, an automation moved down. So what's also happened here is a couple of sub items have automatically started to fill themselves out. So I know that once a customer is in contact, we need to scope the site and we need to send out a capability statement. Now you'll see those have automatically been assigned to SpongeBob SquarePants and Sir Elton John. You can have them automatically assigned to teams or people. So you can also add some due dependency due dates in there, and that will automatically add to those people's task lists and workloads. So you can see there that you've just saved a bunch of time by automatically for each client allocating, and Ryan Reynolds has some dates against it because I filled it out a little bit better at first. Uh, you've got their to-do lists automatically populating. Everybody can see what's on their plate and also everybody can see all of the information about each client because we've put it in there. So that is all done now. And we want to change the status to woohoo, it's a deal. Let's convert it to a deal. And you'll see it disappear from this board altogether. Don't worry though, it's not gone. It's just moved. So where has it moved? It's moved into deals. And we can see down here a little notification that says that it has moved it through into deals. There we go. We've got Taylor Swift in there with the sub items. And the first stage she's gone into is feasibility analysis. Now that it's a job, feasibility analysis. So we can set some timelines against that. So your salesperson or whoever was, was scoping it out initially might have said, all right, let's get this one done oh, between February and March as a bit of a timeline there. We can also say, look, we think at this stage in our scoping, we think it's going to take, you know, 67 hours, we're going to take a lot more than that, but, and we've already spent three hours on it. So we can see straight away um, where we are at. Now, this one, if it was an existing client of ours, we could link it to an organization that's already in our database, um, or we could create one there at that stage. So we can copy it all into these boards here. Contacts and organizations are kind of like directories. Now, We've done our feasibility analysis. That's all done. Let's move her into the fee proposal stage. That will move down automatically. There, all of the same details have come through there, but this is where the low level boards start to come in. And I probably should have shown you on feasibility analysis. Our low level boards down here, as I say, are where all of our 
detailed data is, and I'll show you this one here. Oops, she's dropped into there because I skipped it. I should have skipped it. And you'll see a different set of subtasks have automatically populated based on whatever stage the client is at. Now we can move the stages around up here in deals, or we can move the stages around once we're actually in our low level boards or our detailed boards. And as we do that, we will see, depending on what type of job it is, and depending on what status it's at, we've got automatic sub items. Now, again, you can have them automatically assigned to different team members. I haven't done that here. Uh, and we can put some time tracking against it, how many hours they've spent, if you so wish. And you'll see it's all linked back. So it's one source of truth. So we'll see how we have our statuses there for Miss Taylor Swift. Now, overall status, I'm going to go done moved fee proposal. So this particular setup isn't allowing me to skip stages, which could be really nice for you. I forgot that that was set up. Moved to fee proposal. She's moved into CC because I did try to skip it before I broke it a little bit. All right. So we've got Taylor Swift has moved into CC. Doesn't need to go through DA because remember we chose before, way back up in the lead, we actually said that Taylor Swift needed a CDC rather than a DA. So she's actually skipped DA, gone straight into CC stage, where again, we have a bunch of automatic tasks that have been set up. So you can see where they've come from. So you can see, all right, we've done that one. We've done that one. That wasn't required here. We've done that. Not required. I'm not reading them, so I wouldn't have a clue whether they are or not. Then once it hits CC status, then these ones are all waiting to start. Again, you can automatically assign those and set some dates up for them there as well. We can move them right through. I'm going to keep moving her through. We are done. Moved pre-construction. We're going to see that happen. There we go. There we go. Pre-construction quoting. And there we go. Now we've got even more things in our sub items. So again, could be a different team that needs to do it and they can then see exactly what tasks need to happen. Now, what we'll also see back up here in the high level board on the management level board is, oh, she hasn't moved. I must have turned that one off. Um, but what you would normally see there is you would see her being in pre-construction. There we go. I broke something when I was playing before. There we go. Pre-construction quoting. So she's sitting in there. Ah, uh, there's no task owner assigned. We can add we can add priorities in there. We can do our time tracking. Anything with a little line underneath it means it's linked somewhere else. So you know that everything is working. And then we're going to move her into instruction in progress. Instruction in progress. Sure. In a minute, there she is. Everything's still moving around a little bit. And we have again got more items added to the list as we go through each stage. So that is fantastic. So these have all come through from templates based on what type of job it is, what stage things are at. And this is all held in our low level boards. Um, so you've got some nice visibility there over where everything is at. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you is this section here, which is planning. So we actually have a really nice map widget. So you can see, it's all color coordinated. You can see where each of your jobs are and you can click into them if you want to. So you can see that you've got a DA job up in the entrance or where is that? That one is in Bateau Bay. You can see that Taylor Swift is in pre-construction quoting. She is in Windsor. And then you can see that you've got Prentice sitting in feasibility analysis. So you can see where all of your jobs are and color coordinated, you can see where they're at. Down here, you can see a workload summary. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. Depending on who's assigned to what, you can start to see here who is overloaded um, and who still has some capacity left. Uh, now, for the purposes of this, this shows me as being up some capacity here on the week four of January, 22nd to 28th. But come week five, I'm pretty full up on capacity there. But we can see that SpongeBob has some capacity, so we might be able to give him another job. So the reason I've put these together is it's actually quite nice to be able to look at what's coming up, who's got what capacity, and then have a look and go, all right what areas are the jobs that are coming up in and have we actually potentially, you know, if, if 
Prentice and Taylor weren't so close together and I've got Anastasia working on them in the same week, maybe the travel time is actually going to kill that, um, depending on what needs to happen and how often that task needs to be done on site or how often it needs to come back in. Whereas if Anastasia was assigned to Taylor Swift and Leo DiCaprio at the same time, that's a couple of hours drive. So I might shift things around a little bit there and reallocate some of my resources. Now, another widget that we don't have on this account that you can set in there is a weather widget. So all at the same time, you can start to say, all right, so for the next couple of weeks, we've got a whole heap of jobs up north, but you know what? It's going to be storming. So let's reallocate things. Let's move things around a little bit. And for a whole heap of on-site work, let's move that down south to where the weather is planned to be nice again so that we don't have our staff members or our resources sitting around doing nothing and taking those rain days that we know a lot of our guys love. Another thing I'm going to quickly show you because it's really cool is our subcontractors. Now, this really is just a directory, but it's a directory that actually links to what tasks we've assigned our subcontractors, as well as what jobs they've done in the past. And one thing I really like about it is you can put a service area in and you can put a rating in and you can adjust that. You or your team can adjust that as you need to. So you can come in here and go, look, our Sparkies. We've got 10 Sparkies in here. We've got two that service Northwest Sydney. Um, and out of those two, I've got one that's rated two star based on our experiences with them, or I've got one that's rated five star. You know what? I'm going to give the five star subby more work than I am the two star subby, unless I know that something was going on. Or maybe I need to reach out to them and go, hey, our last couple of experiences with you weren't that great. You know, what can we do to remedy that? Or are you simply overworked and just couldn't take on the extra work? So that, again, is a really nice little way of keeping track of your subbies and who to use for what rather than just relying on everybody's memories. So that is a quick overview of our construction solution. If you do have any questions or if you want a more in-depth view of it uh, or want to know how it can translate into your business, feel free to book a call with us. We'll sit down, we'll go through it and discuss your needs and see how we can customize it to make it work for you. Take care.